Great, we'll move on to reports then. First is the chair, which is me. I don't have a report this month, but I would like to hand out the reports from the ad hoc committees and get all of the commissioners to press these, this information out. I banged into the mayor after the rules committee meeting, and he says they never hear what we're up to. So please take this information, there's soft copy on the website, get it up to your council member, push it out to every neighborhood organization you can, let people know what we're up to. Okay, the next report is from Jackie, who's not here. Oh, there you are. Sorry. <laughs> council Member Liaison. Thank you, Mayor. Good afternoon, Council Member Liaison. Thank you for having me here. Upcoming office weekend, the weekend after next week is our Great American Litter Pickup, and I hope that you all um, might it's talk about that in your own districts and um, maybe partake. So that's April 22nd. It's going to be from 8:30 a.m. to 11:30 a.m. at a park or litter pickup site near you. Um, a few things that happened at council. Um, so we're recruiting a new independent police auditor. Walter Katz resigned, and um, it was effective. April 7th. So there are community input meetings. So the first is on Monday, April 17th at 6.30 p.m. at the Mayfair Community Center. Um, the second will be Thursday, April 20th at 6.30 p.m. At, um, here in City Hall at, in the in Wing Room 19, so here, right here. So, uh, second, and Zulma may speak a bit more to this, but the city um, or the council allowed the city to file a friend of a court brief for um, this curry brief um, challenging the executive orders on immigration also known as a travel ban um, for which um, targeted Muslims and refugees so that's something that happened and another is the mayor's March budget message um, I can't share too much I think that there are reps from the mayor's office that might speak to it later in this meeting or you all should check it out online but we did have a deficit this year, our five-year forecast looks like we're going to have more deficits. And so um, here are some of the priorities that the mayor had outlined. The first is public safety and disaster preparedness. Second, flood recovery. Third, investments that produce long-term savings, revenues, and efficiencies. Fourth, investments that leverage external sources of funding. Fifth, investments that leverage, or investments leveraging community energy and volunteerism. An example is a campaign to fight blight called Beautify SJ, hashtag Beautify, Beautify SJ. So you know you can use that on your Instagram. And um, six, saving and improving fiscal resiliency. And again, this is posted online, so if you're interested, um, go check it out. And I'm available for any questions, and that's it. Okay. Any questions? We'll do something on this. Thank you very much, Jackie. Next up is our new commission secretary, Sabrina Parra Garcia. Welcome, Sabrina. Hi, everybody. Nice to meet you. Those of you who have met me officially, we can talk after the meeting. We will. Um, Jackie actually took some of one of my announcements. And just so you guys know, there are extra flyers for the Great American Litter Pickup on the table over here. Um, in addition, there are four community budget meetings scheduled um, already in May. And we're, there are also flyers over there. but. Um, the first one is Monday, May 8th at 6.30 at the Santa Teresa Branch Library in the community room. Uh, the second one is Wednesday, May 17th, same time, Berryessa Community Center, multi-purpose room. Uh, the third one is Thursday, the next day, Thursday, May 18th, same time, Bascom Community Center, multi-purpose room. And the last one is Monday, May 22nd, same time, Eastridge Mall um, in the community room there. So that is number one. And then I think all of you have one of these little reminder sheets. Um, I know maybe I sent out a save the date. Hopefully you all got it by email. But just so you all know, the uh, retreat is scheduled for Saturday, uh, April 29th um, from 9 to 1. We will be providing breakfast and lunch. So you will not start, we promise. Um, it'll be the Almond Community Center. Um, and. We're working on the agenda right now. Actually, this week we had the opportunity to sit down with the chair and the co-chair to go over that. Um, so as soon as it's finished, you will definitely get it ahead of time, and we will send it out to everybody. Um, and I will say right now, I apologize. I will not be there, because I am going on my honeymoon. Um, so I will come back, though, and get a report and, and hear about how it went for all of you guys. But I just wanted to, I wanted to apologize for that right now. And 
any beds that can leave unless anyone has any questions. Um, so, uh, Commissioner Hunt, I saw yeah. an announcement for District 1 uh, for their budget meeting that uh, was going to be on Wednesday, April 26th at 7 p.m. in Cypress uh, Center. So I, I put my calendar somewhere. I will have to look into that. This is what I Chief. got officially. Uh, sorry, Paul Porter with the mayor's office. Um, that uh, that specific meeting, there's um, some residual meetings that uh, be before the mayor's bar March budget message came out, we had um, meetings that were trying to be established in each council district. Some of you were involved in setting those up. That one got rescheduled because that original meeting was the same week as the flood, and then it got rescheduled again. So they are talking very specifically about D1 items. The meetings that Sabrina just mentioned are citywide budget meetings, so there is a difference. Right, thank yeah. you. Thank you. Thank you. Any more questions for Sabrina? Yeah. 